How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual... Welcome to Biomutant. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Commando. Cyphery. Saboteur. Sentinel. Deadeye. Commando. Deadeye. Come Cypher, Saboteur, Scum, Deadeye, Deadeye Chosen. Good choice. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An ex Seems more like you're being light-headed, if you ask me, but you'll come around. But? In your nature. Ha! Natural select. Right is always right.
stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the Tree of Life started to die.
Low-tech, but it works. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Better hold on to that. Emergency box from the once was a rare sight. looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it.
the Morks produce biomatter in their mountains. They shed out the stress, blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Thank whoever left this climb stringer here. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. That's the 
the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. The scrap keeps piling up. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. There's no doubt you're the child and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Kuzata Ghetto. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided, and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, 